Once again, dear listeners, I, Nick Price, bid you welcome to that most devious hour in which the dead stand erect, and all the ghouls on the vice stalk and stumble about the streets. The clock strikes twelve, and portals to the land of the dead open, calling them forth. (laughs) Yes. Tis but a warning to be on your guard, to lock all your doors and not look in the yard, to mind your own business as the fiends do mind theirs. Stay locked inside, and there are no, no more nightmares. But beware of the ghouls this midnight indeed, for it queues a whole day in which they can feed. On all evenings other tis a night but of play. But today, my dear children, today is their day. We'll proceed into the hour by one of our most classic artists. Little fun fact that you might not know. He wrote this song in a pumpkin. Just kidding. Now, with a new song called Pumpkin Seeds Are Like My Pumpkin, here is Jonathan Ghouls on the Keys. That was awesome. (laughs) One day I'm gonna be so much more bigger than I am. Not that I'm not big enough. So, Mr. Price, oh, welcome to Night Show. Tonight Show, we have Nicholas Price. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Oh, my God, it's Nicholas Price. Uh, so when did you really find your inspiration? Well, <laughs> I was in the airport one day. <laughs> so, Mr. Price, what inspired you? Oh, I don't know, like, everything. <laughs> well, what really inspired you? Like, what really did you think that was, like, the turning moment in your life? Well, I went to my mom and I said... <laughs> I don't want to talk about my family, Mr. Talk Show Man. Okay, we don't have to talk about your family, it's fine. But if I ordered a sandwich on a talk show, I'd be like the first person to eat a burger on a talk show. And I would tell Talk Show Man, I'd say, Mr. Talk Show Man, look at me, I'm eating a burger on your show. And Talk Show Man was like, if you can't eat a burger on my show, I have a radio just like this, or a mic just like this, and I'll talk to him and everybody will cheer me on. It'll be the best day ever. They just don't even know yet. Richard, is that you? I quite like your show, Mr. Price. Wait, who is it? What? I said I quite like your show. Are you not keen to compliments? Of course I take compliments. Who would? You know, you remind me of the man. What man? The man with the power. What power? The power of hoodoo. Hoodoo? Hoodoo. Do what? Remind me of the man. See, it just goes around and around like that. Very funny, I think. When people cannot even speak their own name, they will follow you in circles like a dog. What do you want? Tell me something. Why is it you wish to serve me? I have presented you with no danger, no leverage. You have not even seen my face. Why do you not demand my identity? I will tell you why. Because you do not know it. And yet I have managed to get someplace very close, very fast. And this is my leverage, correct? If I tell you who I am, will you be comforted? No, I won't. Oh, you like that? You like that? Yeah, eat that. Eat wry, stinging rebuttal of the defense mechanism I find quite amusing. As though spitting in the face of the animal about to devour you makes you somehow less pathetic. Do you believe I could devour you this way if I so desired? Now do you know what I am, though you will not say it. You will not even think the term. But your heart and your stomach and your blood are all plainly aware. Oh, I'm aware? You know who's aware? People with rights. Okay? Do you have rights? Do ya? As I said, Nicholas Price, I'm a fan of your show. I very much enjoy your embrace of the macabre, a peculiar phenomenon of this last century. What was once to be known as evil, too profound even to be spoken, is now popular culture. Masks on children, candy in buckets, god-awful pop songs. It's charmingly oblivious. I wish to make use of this format of yours, of the very oblivion it exploits so cleanly. Your listeners are most during this time of year, yes? Yes. So then a trade, your life, for your microphone. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose it'd be all right.
night. Happy Halloween. Apologies for our delay. We now return you to the sound of haunting harmonies and ghoulish grooves. What time is it? Uh, I don't know. Past nap time. Oh, my third double of the week yesterday. Uh, you know, you don't have to say yes every time they mention overtime. Well, until the economy makes room for a job where I can comfortably make student loan payments each month, that's kind of exactly what I have to do. Uh, yeah, you should have tried my formula. No student loans for me. You didn't go to college. Yep. My plan is foolproof. <sighs> Did you get some pumpkins? Yeah, you ready? Yeah, yeah, just, uh, just give me a second to erase everything we've just acknowledged from my memory. Okay, let's go. Do you remember the one where the kid and his mom move into that old house and it turns out there's a ghost in the basement and the ghost reacts to music? So he lures that bully on the street to come down there and find him and uh, locks him in there. Yeah, and cranks the music up. the music up yeah. and, and when he goes back down there, the, the, uh, the bully's gone, but there's a mountain bike in his place and the ghost is just like, dude, Give me people, I'll give you loads of this shit. Kids are just like, yeah, sure. Why not? Right, yeah, Sweet yeah. deal, man. No problem, Ghost, because apparently that character was completely psychotic the entire episode, and that just wrapped everything up perfectly for him. Yeah, then there was the one with the kid and the mall. Right, he gets, he gets locked into the mall, and it turns out he's inside the pinball game. Yeah, and the guy who gave him the job is like, I told you not to play with that pinball machine. Now you get to live in the mall for eternity. Sweet deal. Like, whoa, buddy, Sweet hang on deal. a second here. Let's talk about this here. You know, we could handle things like that back then. Kids today, shit, listen to me, kids today, 25. Yeah, you're 25, but kids today. Well, I mean, for instance, do you know that the majority of the kids in this neighborhood go trick-or-treating at the mall? You know how bizarre that was when we were kids? Know anybody who trick-or-treated at the mall? It's like finding out somebody had a second head. We're always the weird kids. Yeah, and now it's everybody. I swear, going trick-or-treating at the mall, it's sacrilege. It's like having mass at a Hooters or something. Did I tell you I had to take down some of my Halloween decorations this year? What? Yeah, I didn't tell you this. No? What happened? The Housing Association called me up and said I had to take down my Dracula dummy. Why? What was the problem? They said it implied menacing physical presence. It's Halloween. Yeah, I asked them about my uh, ghost decorations. I said that was okay. Everybody knows ghosts are pretend. Well, yeah, but to be fair, nobody's getting chased down the street by a basketball hung up in a white sheet, are they? I didn't chase him down the street. It was barely off the porch. It was down the street, dressed as Dracula, shouting, I'm going to kill you. No, what we should do tonight is uh, the thing with the blood pump in the arm. Yeah. We did that now, they'd probably call a SWAT team on us. Yeah, two years from now, handing out candy will be illegal. And, you know, how many people do you think have ever died from poison candy? There's never been a single report of a death from poison candy. How many people do you think die in the mall each year? I still say we should do the arm thing. That would be a good time. What time is it? Uh, I don't know, early? We've been waiting around to go to a haunted house tonight. I mean, isn't, isn't there anything else for us to do? Yeah, the arm thing. Yeah, but even if we do it, I mean, how many kids do you think are going to show up? Right. The mall. The damn mall. You know, I knew eventually we would have to start letting go of this stuff. I just didn't really expect it to die on its own. We at the Ghoulish Grooves Radio Show hope that tonight's special broadcast has been bringing out the ghoul in you. Ugh, oh, I'm just terrible.
terrible. It wasn't that bad. That bad? The, the graveyard was just a mural of a graveyard on a wall. I know I saw the same three people like 30 times, and half of the costumes didn't even make sense. Did you see the one guy with the Michael Myers mask and the cloak? Was he the one who said, it's knife time? <laughs> should have gotten our money back. No, no, no. We should have gotten our souls back. What the hell is wrong with those people? And some of them can't even find the haunted house. Yo, buddy, the show's that way. Ah! So there are zombies out there. Yeah. Yeah, there are. What are we going to do? Let's go to another haunted house. That really seemed to work out. No, no, no. Seriously, what are we going to do? Let's go back to my house. Yeah. Right? Okay, okay. okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. No? No, we can't. Why? Why no? Because we're on E. No, that's that's we can that's plenty. No, no, that's... no, that is enough to get us to a gas station if you're in for giving ourselves up buffet style. Okay, how why would you why would you not fill up your tank? I figured it would be enough to get us to a gas station from there we could go home. All right. Well, it's your call now. What are we going to do? Okay. Wait, what 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 happened back there? Well, you drop your keys. And I think there was something with zombies, no, right? Seriously, you, you uh, remember that? That we had their, their hands coming in through the windows like crazy and they were ready to tear us apart. And then all of a sudden the hands just came back out. Try something else. Oh, let's try the CD we had on. Try the CD. Try. Okay, 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 hang on. Hurry up! Oh, hang on! Hurry up! On. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, alright, so I like this song. So they like song. Maybe they just like to groove. What do we do with that, man? Truck. Where the hell did you get all this crap? Ten years. I've just never cleaned it out. Good God. Okay, it's gotta be in here somewhere. Ah, yes. Okay. Got the CD and the boombox and the boombox in the backpack. Let me look. 
keep us safe. Okay, let's fuck some zombies up. Yeah, you know the score all too well. But most people know me as Nicholas Price from the Goose Goose Radio Show. I love that show. Yeah, he loves that show. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Didn't love it enough to listen to it on Halloween, though. I guess. What? Nothing. I've been watching you guys out there. Looks like you figured something out. Well, wait. How, how have you been watching us from your car, or what? I just was, okay? We haven't seen a car in at least it's an hour. But at least there's no just cars out there I just there was, okay? I was just watching you from my vantage point. Of someone who knows the score all too well. <laughs> okay, so what is the score exactly? <laughs> What's the score? What's the score? <laughs> you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Okay, that's fine. If you could just drop us off. Dracula! Right Dracula hijacked my radio station and put a curse signal over the airwaves. Alright, if you could just drop us off at his house, we would... Re <laughs> you think your house is still there? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's right up here on the it's left. the one right just, there. Okay, just okay, by. okay! So your house is still there. Even if I drop you off, what are you going to do? Go inside, I play weapons, I have golf clubs, up, I, have I have hockey have sticks. Clubs. You yeah, think it's going to be done by morning? You think this is gonna be done by morning? There are powers that work here you couldn't even imagine. Versus zombies now, this guy. Um, all right. I Nick. heard that. I, uh, Nick. It is Nick, right? Yeah, it's Nick with an you're N. You're telling me Dracula, Dracula hijacked your radio show. Yes. And started playing music that turns people into zombies. What's your name, man? My name is Robbie. Thank you for asking. Oh, oh, Robbie. Thank you for asking. So this is not new to you, right? Like this thing kind of happens all the time. No, this this is definitely the first time. Oh, okay, good, <laughs> good guys. Because <laughs> for a second there, I thought that uh, Dracula hijacking my radio station was the first insane thing you've been privy to this evening. <laughs> there are zombies out there, and they dance. Would you expect some kind of reasonable explanation for that? Oh, sorry. Listen, Nick, it could be a virus, it could be something and biological. The movies, there are there's always logical. Don't the buy movies. that Hollywood bullcrap. Get real. These zombies were created by Dracula. And I think I know how to stop them. And you two can either help me save Halloween in the city or whatever. Or you can turn your back on it and lock yourself inside under delusion that everything in life is as bland as it seems. It's your choice. Now, over the years, the lure surrounding vampires and what hurts or kills them has been endlessly mixed up. So allow me to set the record straight. It's all true. Really? It's all true? All of it. Go ahead. Name anything about a vampire depicted in the movie. Uh, stakes in the heart that kills them. Yep, keep going. They hate garlic. Bingo. Good work. Here's a cookie. 
There is no cookie, dumbass. Want to keep going? Uh, they need to be invited in. Yeah, no, actually that one is... Yeah, I'm not sure. But you, but you just said it was all true. I forgot about the invitation thing, okay? Okay, well, in any case, we're not inviting him anywhere. We're going to him, so... So... So we get together, everything we can, and we rock his balls off his face. Get back in the car, Blondie. All right, guys, here's your protection. Garlic. What's that? Just a Petrodecha Solar Crystal, that's all. What's a Petrodecha Solar Crystal? Only the one thing in the entirety of human existence that actually happens with vampires. It's like vampire kryptonite. Cool, can we have one? No, uh, no, you guys have the garlic. That'll be fine. Fine, you want to trade? No, this, uh, it has sentimental value. It does not. It does too, I'm very sentimental. About not dying. radio station. Well, that's it. Wait, uh, how do you know it's over? It all makes sense now. Last night he appeared at the stroke of midnight. It's past midnight. So Jack was right the whole time. Yeah, Jack was right. It's not important who's right, Bobby. What's important is you actually thought he had a cookie. Now how about that right now? Alright Jack, I'd like to thank you for watching me save Halloween this evening. It's been fun. Mr. Price, it's uh, it's been brief, but uh, weird. I guess until um, next year, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Bring it in. Bring it in! Go ahead. You've got more things to do. You've got your own life, I've got mine. Until next time, Jack. Okay, see you guys. Sir, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll go get my car. Great. So I'll just ride home with him. Well, just looks like it's me and you, huh? Ready to go home, Squirt? Yeah. I thought so. Let's boogie. You know, I got this car at Carmack. Hello? We're all alone, aren't we, Jack? Your friends are on the way home. All that stands between us now is your invitation. I wouldn't hold my breath. Ah, but now you're wondering, does he even need an invitation? Do you trust your movies or the insight of your friends? Which is it, Jack? Am I restricted from your home? Or are you already as good as dead? Time's up. Joker to me. Just one sec, guys. Should I use the brush or should I opt for the scraper? I'll try the scraper. 
Yeah. And this is for ruining my radio show. And this is for making fun of my speech impediment. I hate you, Dad. <clears throat> Sorry, you had to see me get emotional. All right. Um, what are we gonna do with what are we gonna do with the body? Yeah. That'll take care of itself. Just wait a second. Wow, that was a lot less impressive than I was expecting. Yeah. Well, Robbie, not everything in life is as mysterious as it seems. And we're back. <laughs> I don't want to talk about my family, Mr. Talk Show Man. Okay, we don't have to talk about your family, it's family. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, alright. <laughs> alright. Okay. Okay, that's good. That, that's really good. <laughs> uh, alright. So. <laughs> okay, cut. All right. That is great. <laughs> One more of that. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> you think that was good? <laughs> oh, hey, guys. Oh, uh, hey, Mike. What's going on? Oh, you know, we just at the haunted house. Yeah, were you at the haunted house? Yeah, I was there, and it was scary. And there's did, what, did, what did you see there? Well, it was just a bunch of stuff. What kind of stuff? There was the guy with the cloak in there. He's pretty scary. And what, was the, what was your favorite uh, part, though? I just don't want to talk about it. I'm just scared. <laughs> <laughs> Double fives. Double fives. Perfect. Okay. Um... Did you see anything wrong? Or?